is tanking a problem for the NFL? We talked about this before the show. I kind of wonder, players' careers are so short. None of them can afford to put, give anything less than 100%. I feel like tanking is a little different in the NFL. Guys are still, teams still play pretty intensely, even when they're one and six. Yeah, but you're, it, it, it's front office tanking. It, it's not the players on the field tanking. They're trying. It, it's like, you know, the Marlins with Derek Jeter. Hey, we're not tanking. You're not putting the best possible product on the field. So you're tanking. Your players on the field are not. The Raiders on the field aren't tanking. The front office is. You know, the Giants are going to be tanking as well. But we know it's when's the last time we talked about an NFL team and used the word tanking? It's really rare when we think that somebody is just doesn't care, right? But you know, basketball, we see it all the time. When you're you know, you're gonna have that prized uh, possession there in the draft, and why not why not tank here? Makes more sense to t- you know, Mark Cuban. Mark Cuban saying when you know a couple of months ago, he said, We did everything we could to lose, and he said that last year. I mean, that's an owner saying that. But what they did, it was front office tanking. They didn't put a great product on the floor. Those who were on the floor floor played hard. So there is a way of tanking, and it has to do with the front office, and that's what the Raiders are doing. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app. 